I'm a colorist. My whole reason for painting is because of color. I just believe that colors are everything. There are times I get in this zone and I can't stop painting for like eight, 10 hours. It's my calling and it is a passion of mine. Everything I paint, it's about feelings. So I try to draw on that. I'm an activist. I believe part of an artist's job is to be the narrator of today. My calling is about chronicling what's actually going around in my world. And sometimes it's not nice, it's not pretty. And being an African-American female, lesbian, ex-drug addict, I'm like the epitome of intersectionality. It's truth telling. It's a spiritual thing. That's what comes out in my artwork. I've had a lot of really hard things that happened in my life. For 12 years, I was a crack addict. I am, it hurts. Whoa, slow down. But I've come to terms of being who I am. I've been clean and sober now for 17 years. I'm hoping to keep being a teaching artist for kids. With art, with painting, it actually answers a lot of questions for me. Former President Barack Obama, I had to give some kind of homage to him. I had to say, you know, he's the first African-American president. You go into any black family's home, and there's usually a, 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 a painting of uh, Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy, and Jesus. <laughs> well, now we got to add Obama to that collection. I mean, it's just got to go in there. But I'm on this journey to try to be the best person I could possibly be, and to do good, and to give back to my community. Because we all have obstacles, we all have our battles, we all have something that we're trying to overcome. I feel compelled to help other people. I've accepted who I am. I love who I am. God made me to be exactly who I am. I'm happier now than I've ever been.